The National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in September was 98.8, an increase of 0.2%. Restaurant operators overall reported improvements in same-store sales and traffic conditions, while their expectations for future business conditions remain stable. Regarding restaurant operator capital spending in September, 47% of restaurant operators reported making a capital expenditure over the past three months, and 49% of restaurant operators expect to make a capital expenditure over the upcoming six months. In September, restaurant industry employment jumped by 69,000. Still, it is important to keep in mind that while overall industry employment levels do remain above where it was pre-pandemic, for the table service segment, employment there still remains down by 234,000 positions. In addition, there are still 14 states and D.C. where restaurant industry employment has not regained its pre-pandemic levels. Also in September, wholesale food price inflation continued to move up. That rate now is running at a 2.3 percent increase year to date. And not surprisingly, certain commodity groups are posting increases. For example, eggs, butter, fresh vegetables, pork, beef, and chicken. And meanwhile, other commodity groups did post some declines. For example, potatoes, flour, and cheese. Also in September, restaurant menu price inflation ticked up. That rate year-to-date is now running at 4.2% and remains substantially above grocery store price inflation at 1.1%. And meanwhile, overall inflation clocked in at 3.0%. So in sum, the Restaurant Performance Index in September, 98.8, an increase of 0.2%. Restaurant industry employment up by 69,000. Wholesale food price inflation, 2.3% year-to-date, and restaurant menu price inflation at 4.2%. And don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.